meeting. It's a full body banger team meeting. We're into the home straight here on Bangers and Smash with the A final from Hensford, which turns into an awesome DD. First, though, a chance for you to tip the wheel in some of Banger Racing's most thrilling footage. Ever wanted to be a driver? Well, take a look at this. meeting from Hennesford Hills Raceway, the National Banger Team Championships. Last year, Coventry A narrowly finished in second place behind Team Blitz. What will happen now? It's all going to be decided on this race. And there's 442 Stuart Phillips, who's already had a win for his team this afternoon. The cars are bringing the entire circuit. 269, Dean French, getting ready to rock and roll as the green flag sent them on their way and so do the green lights and already a huge pilot, Phil Waskin, getting turned into the traffic and somehow surviving. Oh, and that's been by 345, Lee Saunders in the fence. 341 in trouble as well. Number 17 going well for the uh, local team. It's Patrick launches French number 60. An amazing moment there for Wayne French as he vaults the infield. Number 82, Vince Wolf, and this time he gets it. A good recovery by 82, Vince Wolf the first time, but not the second. Dave Tuffin. He's already had a win in this meeting, and there's 3 4 0 John Atkinson. Ooh, and this time Wolf is in the alcove. And there's one double three. Patrick piling in, and a huge crash there. 294 actually having a go as well. 394 Huntsworth is in there. 382 Danny Hunt hits the fence. But these are the guys who won or finished races in this meeting. They've scored points with their team, but now they're showing that they can follow them in. And oh, and Davy Cox leaned into the traffic there. Beautifully, as Wadey piled in. In two double three, Patrick goes in on Wadey. Using, oh, and look at this blitz on the home straight. Two on eight, Lee Cleland piling in and separating that lot. Well, this is turning out to be a fantastic final. The A final for the top point scorers. Smoke and steam pouring from, oh, I say, and Unsworth there. And look at this, McAvoy is now attached to him. Oh, look at this. That's a bang of wedding for you. If you like, and will the stick big boys try and separate them? And they succeed. Four marks, two nine four. Nigel Ashley there. There's six one seven. Jack Overy, he's getting attacked as well by three nine zero. Oh, he's certainly a plucky fella. And Steve Unsworth is eighty eight. Martin Love takes up the running again for the Coventry Avengers. 
the same time. That, that's the idea now, because it looks to be between these two for the Destruction Derby Trophy. Oh, keep, keeps looking over his shoulder, trying to play Cecil. What they're trying to do, you see, not so much as avoid each other, as try and get the hit that they want to get on the other one, rather than take the hit that they don't want to take. And these two uh, customers, they know what it's all about. Big names in the world of banger racing, Lee Cullen and Steve Anscom. And now, are they going to beat head on? And uh, no, and you see, I'm not even sure that Cecil was going for that. Missed by a mile then. Cullen decides to turn it round. What he'd like to do is hit the 194 car at the back and he will! And that's what Cullen was waiting for. chance to smash into the back of the other car. Maximum damage to your opponent, minimum to yourself, although as you can see, Lee Clellan's front end is well snapped, but here we go again! Just making the point, trying to square off the front end of the 218 wreck. Now then, is Cecil going to fire it up again? He's looking hopefully and accusingly, and he has! Well, I say he was looking at his battery connections down there. Well, amazing. So now Clellan's got to do it again. What is going on here? Clellan, uh, well there's Cecil. He is still moving, 194, Steve Anscombe. They think it's all over. It is now. 218, Lee Clellan wins the destruction derby. Now then, Lee, you give it your best shot there. How do you feel? Relieved because it was snapping off pretty bad, as you can see. I think mean, another good hit. I don't think I've got it out. It's not exactly showroom condition, is it? Not no more. I think it's ready for the scrapyard. Can you salvage any pieces off it? Just me, uh, just me kit, really. That's it. Steering wheel, maybe? Um, nah. <laughs> we'll have a fresh one. We'll have a fresh one. And a fresh car. I could do with a fresh neck. But there you go. You feel a bit rough. No, I feel happy because it's a hundred quid better off. It's worth it though, wasn't it? Oh, it's always worth it. It's definitely always worth it. As long as you don't get injured. I can't believe it. That was one of the most outrageous races I've ever seen. Right, if you come to the team race every year, you can guarantee a good meeting. Guaranteed. Now, what team are you with, tell us? Uh, the Warriors. From Coventry. So, basically, it's kind of your home track here, isn't it? It is, yeah. These are my promoters and I race for them, basically. And the home crowd around you, plenty of them. Yeah, a lot of foreigners as well. Give a good show. So you got to win today, there was no doubt about it. 
you've got to win that DD. Um, it's nice to win it. You can't say you're going to win it when you go out. You the pressure's on. The pressure was on you. <laughs> it was when you had to the last couple of cars and yours is snapping off and someone's got quite a solid car. Still going. It is hard. Well, you did well keeping it together. And I hope you have a good nurse at home to nurse your poor neck. And me. I, 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 I hope she's nice and young as well. <laughs> Don't tell. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks. And that's it. That's all we've got time for here today from Hensford Hills Raceway. Well, join us next time for plenty more motor madness right here on Bangers and Smash. <laughs>